football. Why do you do it to me? United, why do you do it to me? That is one of the most incredible second half performances we are ever going to see at Old Trafford. Manchester United 3, Atalanta 2. Cristiano Ronaldo, Mr. Doesn't Press, comes up in the Champions League again with a winner when Ole Gunnar Solskjaer needed it the most. I thought Solskjaer was done, dead and buried at the end of that first half. An abysmal first 45 minutes. Two ridiculous defensive mistakes. Shambolic from Manchester United in that first 45 minutes. And we needed to come out in the second half and we needed to respond. And my God, did we respond. Marcus Rashford came up with the first goal. Harry Maguire can't score with his goddamn head. Apparently, he can score a banger with his right foot. And then Ronaldo comes up with that goal to make it 3-2. Old Trafford rocking just when you think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is past the point of no return. Manchester United's players turned up and delivered for their manager in that second half. You cannot say that the players were not playing for Ole. I got slated before the game for sending out a tweet saying that I don't want Manchester United to lose. And anybody who wants Manchester United to lose, as far as I'm concerned, can't call themselves a Manchester United fan. That second half performance there embodied exactly why I would continue to always support my team and my manager the whole way through. Booed off at halftime. Old Trafford never boos. That was sustained and it was deserved because we were fucking shit in that first half, ladies and gents. And I was thinking, it was at that point I was like, this just looks like a continuation of the Leicester game. Nothing has changed here. I think Solskjaer's done. And genuinely, if that if, if that had continued, that's why I've titled this Ronaldo Save Solskjaer, because that needed to be a win for United. And wow, is it turned into a win. That If that isn't a game, if that isn't a moment, if that isn't the watershed moment where things turn, then nothing will ever, ever turn around under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer because we've been here we've been at the peaks we've been at the troughs we know what comes next we know the swings that happen but United cannot afford those swings anymore under Solskjaer this has to be the beginning of us looking upwards this has to be followed up by beating Liverpool even though we're going to be underdogs on Sunday this has to be followed up with nothing but a win against Liverpool on Sunday following that Spurs the next week then we go against Atalanta away and then we've got City it's a ridiculous run of games coming up but if that isn't going to be the inspiration tonight we are never going to get inspiration under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer I seriously thought it was all I thought it was dusted I thought Ole was dusted in the end of that first half Man United is just we knew that Atalanta's win backs were going to be the, the danger point all of a sudden Shaw's not there Maguire's not there on his man a ridiculous goal to concede square ball across the what you're doing defense and then we can see the set piece Eric Ramsey I do off my hat to you Mr. Set Piece Coach doing your job properly sir indeed you are we can see from another set piece an excellent an excellent header but what the fuck are we doing going in at half time Old Trafford booed and Manchester United deserved it one clean sheet in 20 games going into going into that well because of that game and coming out in that second half it was do or die for Solskjaer it had reached that point as far as I'm concerned that's what I was feeling anyway I'm not sure about you you can let me know in the comments below but it felt like do or die and United did and Old Trafford there treated to one I'm not going to say one of the great European nights but certainly one of the great European comebacks certainly one of the, the Everybody, people might compare that game, for example, to Newcastle under Mourinho. Remember when he was on the brink and then we went and I think it was Alexis Sanchez scored the winner. People are going to, I think that was 3-2 as well. People are going to compare that. Let's see what fucking happens next. All right. Let's see what happens fucking next. Because United and Solskjaer, you've got to use that as the springboard. Enough of this bullshit of having a win, having a moment and then slamming it in reverse again. Solskjaer cannot afford for this team to go in reverse Again, ever. This has to be the beginning of the forward momentum because we've hardly had any this season. We've had it in moments. We've had it in Villarreal with the moment. That didn't lead to anything. This has to be the start of something different, Ollie. Or, or, or the writing is on the wall. The writing was on the wall for that, that first 45 minutes. I saw Mike Phelan and Solskjaer in a dugout. I saw it was like, what's different? What's changing? Nothing. We weren't pressing. We weren't as a collective unit. Nobody was making themselves available for the man. And can I say something about Cristiano Ronaldo? When you put balls in like that, like the ball from Luke Shaw, you're going to get the greatest goal scorer of all time scoring them. Give him chances. Man United are not creating enough for Cristiano Ronaldo. That is why he's not scoring. 
he was never coming to Old Trafford as a pressing striker. He, if, he, look, if you look at the running stats, he actually run. He, he's run more per ninety minutes than fucking Romelu Lukaku. Don't hear him getting slated. Ronaldo is a genius of what he does, a master of his craft. Don't ask him to chase down the goalkeeper. All right, put the ball on a plate for him. To be fair, he missed a couple of chances tonight. I would have expected him to bury, but in the crucial moment, he came up again. He did it. He delivered against Villarreal tonight. He did it, and he delivered against. Atalanta. I went as far as to say that Ronaldo saved Solskjaer because I think it was it it felt like that. But Old Trafford, you all deserved that. We all deserved that. We deserved that moment, that 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 uh, mm, that comeback, that turnaround. But I want Manchester United. That's what I want that that message in that dressing room to be right now. Not high fives and slaps on the asses. I want it to be. Look, you were crap in that first forty five minutes. You did well to get yourselves out of the hole that you dug for yourselves. But this has to be the start of a new page being turned. We can't now go backwards, put it in reverse and head back towards the performances like we saw against Villa, we saw against Everton, we saw against Leicester. This has to be the start of a new shift and a new change because we've got the goddamn players for it. All right. So many of you feel that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is just not capable. And trust me, that first 45 minutes... I was fully in the Oli out camp. But that second 45 minutes goes to show me there is still still fire in that belly. Even at the point where I just can't, I just don't think that Solskjaer can get back from the brink. He's he's flying back from the brink on a fucking magic carpet bought to him by Cristiano Ronaldo. I didn't expect it in that second half. But they delivered. Wow. Rashford, Bruno. Oh, by the way, Bruno's boom. Two assists from Bruno tonight. A player who, he missed so many passes in that first half. His pass rate must have been ridiculous. Success rate. That vision for Rashford's goal. And Rashford, a brilliant finish. All three goals tonight, outstanding in their own right. Collectively, part of an outrageously brilliant second 45 minutes. And one that I didn't personally think was we were capable of at halftime. One that I'm sure a lot of you didn't think that we were capable of. But Man United tonight have delivered for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. The players have turned up and fought for their manager. In the, in a fir- after a first half where there was literally no fight, no bite, no nothing. Just tepid, tepid water. That's what I would call us in that first half. Second half, we were goddamn boiling. We were la- I don't know, lava, acid, whatever you want to fucking call it. I'm trying to get a crap analogy out here. But that turnaround has put a massive smile on my face. It better put a goddamn smile on your face as well. I know things right now under Solskjaer are no good whatsoever. And things need to change. They did change. They changed in that 45 minutes. That now needs to be the line drawn in the sand. Going into Liverpool, we need to come with the same sort of intensity we showed in that second half. Don't fucking wait until we're 2-0 down. Don't wait until Solskjaer is there standing and the fucking the guy's got the gun to his head. Solskjaer is in the firing line. He's that well, He was in the firing squad at the end of that first half and the players have saved him from it. Solskjaer has saved himself from it. You know, good substitutions, good management. But that has to be the start of something new. I didn't think that we were capable of it at halftime, ladies and gents. I was. I thought it was dusted. I thought we were dead and buried. I. I, I was. I really feared. I thought that was it. Uh, if that had continued, then I really going into that Liverpool game, I thought Solskjaer probably would have been sacked after it. But now we have, we have been given an opportunity. Solskjaer has been given an opportunity. The players and Solskjaer have given themselves the opportunity with one of the best comebacks you're going to see on a European night at Old Trafford. Incredible atmosphere. Old Trafford rocking by the end of it. Booing at halftime, cheering at the end. Doesn't matter halftime now. We can just forget about that. But what's your match reaction? Ronaldo literally is the greatest of all time. And I don't want to even have the conversation anymore. Get him more opportunities. Stop complaining about him not pressing and fucking pass it to him in a good position. Don't starve him of chances. Give him chances. He's going to goddamn score. And he scored the winner tonight. What's your reaction? Let me know in the comments below. So many of you are still going to be frustrated with how United played. I said it was about a performance tonight. We might not have had it in that first 45, but that such was the magnificence of that second half performance. There really still is some fight left in this Manchester United team under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. But whoa, Cristiano Ronaldo, Mr. Champions League. Yes, please.